Good nutrition is essential in helping your body heal your incisions and absorb your anti-rejection medications. Once the breathing and stomach tubes are removed, you will be placed on a liquid diet. The nurses will gradually advance your diet to solid food. We expect you to sit up in a chair for all meals after your surgery. Your nurses will keep track of your intake and output for the first few days after surgery. This helps the doctors monitor your nutritional status. You may not feel very hungry after surgery because your senses of taste and smell are somewhat impaired for a few weeks. After surgery, healthy eating habits are a vital link to maintaining good physical condition. Many of your post-transplant medications have side effects that can negatively impact your heart, liver, kidneys, and your weight. Following a healthy diet can reduce your risk of complications from high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, and infections. One of our nutritionists will visit you while you're in the hospital to help you understand what good nutrition and healthy eating habits look like after your operation. In general, you will need to follow a low-sodium diet for the rest of your life. Some anti-rejection medicines can cause high blood pressure by holding sodium and water in your body. Eating less sodium in your diet can help your body maintain a lower blood pressure. Your blood pressure is also easier to control if you are not overweight. Maintaining a healthy weight after transplant is important. Prednisone can increase hunger and contribute to weight gain. It can also decrease muscle mass. That is a powerful combination to combat when you're trying to control your weight. Your nutritionist will help you understand how many calories are in your diet and how many you need to control your weight. The medications used to help your body accept your new lungs can cause your cholesterol levels to rise. High cholesterol levels can lead to heart disease. You will need to follow a low-fat diet to minimize your risk of developing heart disease. Your nutritionist will help you understand the choices necessary in building a successful, low-fat diet. Prednisone can also drive the development of diabetes. You may need insulin to control your blood sugar. Maintaining a healthy weight will also be helpful in managing your blood sugar after transplant. Your nutritionist will spend time reviewing more detailed nutritional guidelines you'll need to follow in order to stay healthy from now on.